Hello, my name is Kerry Lewis and I'm a member of the MrBruff.com writing team. Today I'm going to talk about the full stop with abbreviations. An abbreviation is a shortened word or phrase, for example, Mrs, Miss and Ms. These are abbreviations of the word mistress. It was only over time that Mrs came to refer to a married woman, Miss an unmarried woman and Ms to both. The abbreviation of Mr. originally came from the word master. In the UK, if the last letter of the abbreviation is the same as the word it comes from, we don't use a full stop after the abbreviation. Here's another common example. As you can see, doctor ends with R and so does the abbreviation, so we don't need a full stop. If you do see full stops with these abbreviations, it's probably because they're abbreviated in America. We're going to begin by looking at when you don't need a full stop with other abbreviations. These are acronyms because each letter stands for something. For example, USA stands for the United States of America. If a country or a company or an organisation is very well known, we don't usually need the full stops. At one point in the past, there will have been full stops, but they fell out of use because the abbreviations are so familiar that full stops were no longer considered necessary. However, there are some abbreviations that do need full stops. The first is after a person's initial. For example, Albert abbreviates to A. And here we can see the full stop and then a space before his last name. If there are two first names, then we leave a space after the second initial. Sometimes you might see no full stops after people's initials. And this is because language rules are changing over time. Now let's look at some common abbreviations. Numbers, streets, roads, days of the week and months all need a full stop when we abbreviate them. However, we don't use full stops when we abbreviate metric measurements. We use full stops as well with abbreviations of time when talking about AM and PM. AM means before midday and it comes from the Latin anti meridium. PM means after midday and it comes from the Latin post meridium. If it's 5 to 12 or 11.55 AM, there's a space between the number and the A. Likewise, there's a space between the number and the P when we're talking about PM. Continuing with abbreviations that come from Latin, here are three well-known ones. E.g., for example, I.E., in other words, etc., and the other things. I would recommend not using these abbreviations because in formal writing, such as writing English essays, it's better to write these words in full. When talking about dates before or after the birth of Christ, we often use full stops. BC stands for before Christ, BCE before the Common Era. BCE is an alternative way of writing the date if you're not Christian. AD means Anno Domini, in other words, after Christ was born. Traditionally, when writing dates, we put the letters AD before the year number. For example, Queen Elizabeth was born in AD 1926. We put BC and BCE after the year number, for example, Alexander the Great defeated Persia in 79 BC. Traditionally, AD, BC and BCE are written in smaller capital letters, but this is becoming less popular. You might also see that the full stops used to abbreviate these words are missing, as we see in this example at the bottom. Sometimes you'll see dates today written in this way, and sometimes you'll see them written in that way, so punctuation rules are evolving all the time. It might even be that in 10 years' time, some of the punctuation rules in this video no longer apply. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to buy a copy of Mr Bruss' Guide to Grammar, I've put a link in the description below. In the meantime, please like, subscribe and share, and I'll see you in the next video.